Hello, my darlings. Happy Friday to all of you and welcome back to another Design Me Devon here today with a house called Sandy Run. Thank you so much to the lovely person that submitted this. We'll go ahead in a minute and have a little look at it. It is Friday. The weekend is upon us. The sun is proper shining today in Devon and it was yesterday as well. So I'm going to get my hair done in a minute, which I can't wait for because this is a big curly heap. I don't know what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to keep it a bit longer this time. I'm talking about my hair now in an introduction to one of my videos, but we don't expect anything less from me, do we really? Hmm? No. So I think what we'll do before I waffle on about some more shit that doesn't make sense. Let's get on over and I'm going to have a look at this build and show you guys around before we go ahead and renovate it. Okay, my loves, here we are, Sandy Run. It's this gorgeous, like, 1930s-esque mock Tudor vibe house that I just really, really love. It's definitely got a British vibe to this as well, which is why I picked it, because you know me. Love a bit of British building in The Sims. Um, and this was done by the lovely Albert... Uh, Albert Q? Am I saying that right, Albert? I hope I am. Great build, love it. And this is the story behind it. So... This was Miguel and Earl's old house. Earl lived here his entire life, before and after Miguel died. Earl and Miguel raised their children and grandchildren there. Now that both have crossed the Rainbow Bridge, it was passed on to their youngest granddaughter, Eleanor, and her husband, plus their two kids and another on the way. Now, where's the next bit? There we go. Eleanor wanted the, ho wanted the house to fix it up so she can continue the legacy of the house. She wants to keep the older charm inside um the darker brick and wood outside but with like a modern extension that makes the sunroom bigger and longer they don't have a budget because they don't believe the original charm is cheap so therefore there is no budget thank you very much albert they love good thrift store finds mid-century modern and lots of color they would love if mr devon bumpkin himself would help them fix up their forever home so Thank you so much. Thank you so much for submitting this, Albert. I absolutely love this build and I've had a little nose around and I've got a few ideas. So let's fly on over there and I'll show you what I'm thinking about doing in the place. And so here she is in all of her glory in game. Such a lovely build. I love the little like pond at the front. Um, I just think it's a great looking build. The roofing on this is really good, Albert. You've gone to town on the roofing and I'm for it. It's got a huge back garden in the back as well, which I love. I love this street in Newcrest. I've been doing all of my... <laughs> this is the last one we've done. Moved right next door. Um, I absolutely love this street in Newcrest. Just for like the row of houses like that along a big road. I wish we had more lots like that. I really do. Um, but yeah, this is gorgeous. I absolutely love it. So they've already got an extension on the back here. And I kind of like how kind of traditional it looks against the house. So my thoughts have been, I might have to change the brief a little bit. I hope you don't mind, Albert. <laughs> because I just love how traditional this house is. I love how traditional this house is. I love the layout. I love what you've done with the place. It feels lived in. It's so cute that you've made it look like they've just moved in and stuff and... I absolutely love that. They're so cute. So they've kind of got like a little um, utility room here with a smaller garage, maybe just for like bits and bobs rather than cars. That's why they're at the front. Big living room. This is the entrance hall here, which I love. I think it's so cute having a nice entrance hall here. Back into like a, maybe like a formal living area. Or just like a little chill out nook with this little sunroom here. And then the kitchen is off to this side here. So the kitchen is here with a little dining room here. My thoughts have been... I think I'm going to keep the living room in its place. I think I'm going to rejig this layout a little bit here. Still keeping a, maybe like a utility slash larger. Knocking this wall down here. Having a bigger kitchen. Keeping a toilet in that area there. I may even knock this room down. Just have a nice like home gym or something in here. But I love this little corridor going out to an entrance on the side as well. I think that's really cool. Um, I love this layout. I'm not going to rejig this much at all. I think this is lovely. It's got even got a little tiny toilet here as well, which I might get rid of. I might even just get rid of this whole wall here and have the entrance there. So it kind of frees up a bigger space, like an entrance hall, which I love. Um, and I might even make this the dining room and make the big sun house a bit longer, which I'm for. I think we're going to do that. Yes. So we can have a nice bigger sun house. And then upstairs... We've obviously got a few 
bedrooms going on. I think I'm going to change the floor plan upstairs a little bit. I really, really do. Um, I think we're going to definitely kind of size this bedroom down a little bit, I think. Maybe have like a hallway going into the back of the house. And try and get four bedrooms, I reckon. Try and get four bedrooms up here with a big bathroom. And maybe the, the master suite, wherever that's going to be. I might even put a... Um, ensuite in that as well i think that's what i'm gonna do i'm happy i'm happy once again what a beautiful build like very very clever you guys astound me with your creativity and your skills you really really do so thank you so much albert i absolutely love this build i am very much looking forward to giving it a bit of a renovation so um oh, i'll be gone a few hours but i'll see you in a couple of seconds Okay, my darlings, here we are. We are on the cleanup process. Um, I had a lot of fun with this. I know I say that every time for Design Me Devon builds, but I just have so much fun playing and renovating your guys' builds. So keep them coming as well on the gallery. The hashtag is Design Me Devon um, because I'm going to be, as I said, making this a bit more of a prolific series back on the channel. So I just want a lot more to choose from, even though there's a lot on there already. And guys, go ahead and do it as well. Get on that gallery and see what you can renovate because I'd be very interested to see so now the brief I did skip over the brief just slightly I won't lie I I strayed away from using bright colors in this place we kept it very traditional as well which I'm really like but with a hint of like industrial like industrial vibes on the interior and I think I don't know it just matched the house it matched the house and I really enjoyed the way it looked afterwards I just think it worked I think it worked and I think you guys will enjoy the um overall look afterwards and I hope that the clients um just like my take on things I really hope they do now we did keep the darker brick and the darker wood on the exterior but I go ahead and change them up just to make it look a little bit more crisper um so I use this brick instead which is from, I forget what that brick's from. Oh, it's from um, Realm of Magic. That's surprising. I didn't think it was from there. Um, I used the Realm of Magic brick and I don't I don't remember where that wood is from on the front there. Sorry. But um, I just like the overall, overall look of it afterwards. Now, it is a big four bedroom family home as well. And um, I changed the color of the windows up as well just so it blends into the back. We'll go a little bit more darker with this. And this is where I was like, oh, I'm going to keep this a little bit more traditional. They asked for a modern extension. It is an extension. It's a little bit more on the traditional classic side. So it blends in with the house a little bit better. Even though I love the juxtaposition between old and new on architecture, I do. It's my favourite. With this one here, I just wanted to keep it a little bit more traditional. So I hope the clients are going to be happy. You'll have to let me know, Albert, what your clients think of it. Um, because, yeah, I, I'm, I just, I went ahead and I was just like, you know what, I'm going to do this. I'm going to just do it on a whim and do what I think rather than what the client thinks, you know? Um, so, so that's why I went ahead and did. And I kept the floor plan the same as what I sort of had in the brief as well when we were going over the build first off. Ignore this um, door, by the way. I get rid of that. We changed, we rejigged the shape of that. I just wasn't feeling it. I kept looking at that door and being like, oh, that's ugly not feeling it um with this bit here i had to rejig the pond a little bit just so the um garage had kind of like access with the cars um so i rejigged the landscape a little bit around here um i made a, a, a new slope a new slope over into the garden um and we we put all the water back in the pond but we just reduced the size of it just there's a bigger area in the front for a pathway and a driveway um and yeah, I was very, very pleased with it afterwards. I was very, very pleased. Um, one of my, one of my favorites, one of my favorites I've done in quite a while, actually. Um, is and I haven't done Simon Dev in a long time, I know, but one of my favorites to renovate. And I think it's because I didn't go down the route of kind of modernizing it. I just stuck with this kind of like more classic charm that the house sprung. And yeah, I was very pleased with it. Very pleased with it afterwards. You guys will have to let me know down below. Now, I will go ahead and say in the beginning of this as well, I'm not going to be getting a video out on Monday. Main reasons being, I have to get my tax sorted for the tax man. I've got to get my tax sorted for the tax man. So um, my accountant said, you need to get this done by Wednesday. I was just like, I've got no time to get it done. So I'm having to take this Monday off to get my tax sorted, loves. You know, adulting things, adulting things. 
Um, so you'll have to excuse me. No video coming this Monday. Um, but yeah, anyway, driveway. I wanted to put a little wall down the side of it just so it kind of like shut that area in off of the side area. Um, left a little gap for the cars to get in quite nicely and a little fence. Well, so, or a little gate, sorry. So pedestrians can get in too. And with this side bit, I was like, there's not much what we would need out this side. So I decided to go through with some lovely foliage and landscaping and just make this area in the front a little bit more attractive with some greenery. Uh, and I think I'll go ahead and put in some white flowers and stuff. But I like the dark green with the dark brick. That's just my shit. It really is. And I just think it worked really well. Worked really well with this area. Um, and yeah, it's cute. Look at it. Just look at all of those little bushes together. Very nice indeed. Um, and I go a little bit more on the wisteria as well. So I kept the wisteria that was originally on there. We can just pretend that it's grown a little bit more since they've moved in or something. Um, and yeah, very, very nice indeed. I just think it's a nice, attractive house and it's all down to you, Albert. Like beautiful bones for me to go ahead and put my mark on it, which is what I'm doing, aren't I? Because that's what Jasami Jevons all about, Charlo. It really is. Um, the wood on that rooftop there, I actually changed for brick. You'll see it in the final um, video tour. I did it off of camera. I was just like, something's not working there. And I changed the roof shape out the back a little bit as well. Um, but you'll see that. Now, that's what we ended up with, with the sunroom. You saw the slidey door from Moschino, and I put another one of those, um, like... I don't know what you would call them, bay windows. Bay windows on the exterior as well. I just thought that really worked quite nicely. Quite nicely indeed. Now, all of this la um, terrain painting that I'm doing now um, disappeared when I came back to the game. So I had to do it again. Great. Thank you. Thank you for that. Love that bug in the game. Love that that bug is still in the game. <laughs> After all this time. Always. Anyway, so pool put a pool in i think i've chuckled with the fence here you'll see what i come up with in the end we end up going for a shorter fence i was just like oh no this is looking ugly i left a gap there i was just like that's horrible as well what about a gap there reduce the size of the pool that was okay i still didn't like that in the end we end up going for a shorter um a shorter fence but pool put a pool in loves it was a perfect size it's a family home having a like ni nice outdoor heated pool in this area I just think it would really work for this family. So I went ahead and did it. I went ahead and did it. Um, and using this lovely um, terrain paint from Get Together. Get Together. One of the oldest terrain paints. Still one of my favourites. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Just wish it came in some other colours. Like greys and stuff. Always say that. Anyway. Kids. There are kids in this lot. So I was like the kids are going to need somewhere to play. So I put a climbing frame down. And also a swing set. A swing set, smoothing that area in. And that is the fence that we went for as well. That shorter fence that came with cats and dogs, I think. Um, I just think it stopped the garden being separated off too much. But, but also still felt like it was separate. Do you know what I mean? So that's what we did. Parents have their area by the pool. Kids have theirs with their swing set. I think that is a good vibe for us to all to um, enjoy today. Yes. Um, and I love the fact that that pool trim blends in with that train paint so beautifully. Uh, again, I think that pool trim is from Get Together. So it kind of makes sense, doesn't it? Kind of makes sense. Um, but yes, look at us. Lovely pool. Lovely pool area. I squeezed into... Um, I'm sorry, I've got an itchy head. Um, it's, <laughs> I think it's from where my headphones have been on so long doing this build. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, I squeezed into a little... Yeah, these here, but it's just... I was like, oh, where am I going to put them? It's quite tight by the pool area. And I think I end up putting two in. But I think I rejig them off of camera so they just fit in a little bit better. There they are, over the side, over in the corner, look. Um, and I end up putting a little table out here. Well, quite a big table, actually. It fits six sims, or five, five, six. Six sims out there. Um, so it's a nice bit of entertainment space we got going on, too. Uh, very nice indeed. Very nice indeed. Anyway, into the interior. So this is the kitchen with all of the new wallpapers and floorings and stuff down. Lots of exposed brick in this place as well, which I just think matched well with the vibe that I really wanted to come across. That semi-industrial, but also put together classic vibe. That is the technical term. Um, I was like, should I put a cupboard there? No, we're not going to do that. So I end up doing a little unit off to the side um, on this bit here. Um, I just think the layout really lended itself well. I knocked all of this area down like I was going to say I was going to knock down. Um, and I end up just putting in some of the beams and 
stead. And then we put a half wall there just to make it look like the wall has been knocked down and stuff. And nice kitchen. I do really like this kitchen. I like the layout. It's got its own pantry where the fridge goes in. Um, and very much here for it. Very much here for it when it comes down to it, darling. Still one of my favourite kitchens is this base game one. I do really like it, especially working with classic kitchens. I do really like the base game with the tiled top. Very nice indeed. Um, but yeah, lots of base game objects in this um, build, actually. Well, not lots, but enough, enough. And this is the little pantry where I do put a little utility in here as well by using the, the washer and dryer off to the side too. Um, so they have got that moment too. Yes, lovely. And um, shelves, shelves with stuff that fit on shelves, which we, as you all know, we are very limited to in the game. We are very limited to things that actually fit on shelves in the game. Um, and I hate when there's counters underneath because they always snap down when you're trying to put stuff up on shelves. It's very annoying. They need to bloody get this sorted, the shelves they do. <laughs> I'm always whinging, aren't I? Always whinging. Good. I think someone needs to. And I think it's important, um, especially being a game changer. I think we should voice our opinions on... Um, certain things above the game or all things if they're pissing you off then voice it you know um before we get you know blamed for pandering to ea's wants and needs as lots of game changers tend to um yeah you know what humans what are humans like kept lots of the original furniture as well and thought i'd um utilize it in this build i thought i'd utilize it maybe they got them re kind of like um what do they call it again I'm, my mind's going to go completely blank now. I don't, I have no idea. It's gone completely blank. You don't need to tell me in the comments either. Thank you. But they got their, yeah, they had their sofas re... Oh, that's going to piss me off though. That's going to piss me off. That's going to piss me What? What is it? What is it? What are you call? Someone's screaming, <laughs> screaming it out now. And I can't pause this either because this is on a video. <sighs> oh, well, well. It's a new sofa and we're into the living room. Love this living room. Look at me using the um, tongs and stuff. Love that new object in the game. A little bit too big though. Always end up sizing them down. Um, I just like the feel of it in here. Do you, do you know what I mean? We've gone for that classic vibe, but it's still just got a, I don't know. It's got a nice vibe to it. Lots of blacks in this build. I wanted to portray the outside onto the inside with the blacks and browns. So we do that in quite a few areas of the house we really do and that's where i was like oh they wanted color though and i was like do you know what i'm gonna go ahead on a whim and just think this is what looks better this is what you're having thank you very much indeed thank you um and i put in a little fluffy rug as well nice little gray fluffy rug oh that's nice i like this living room i really do very much do um but yes not i've i think i've told you about these but i've actually got one of those where you put the um, tree seed and the roots go down into the water. The acorn is germinating at the moment. I hope I'm hoping for a root, but sometimes you have to wait like eight weeks before a root comes. Like I ain't got the time for that, for goodness. Now into the dining room. So I'm utilizing the older chairs that they left as well. I put these chairs with this table, and as much as I liked this table, I I wanted to go a little bit more industrial with it and i remembered there was a farmhouse table in base game that had the kind of metal underneath but also the the farmhouse table on top so i end up using that one instead and I, that just helped me bring a bit more of that industrial edge over into this area of the house which is just off the kitchen and just by the sunroom and it's a big dining area with its own fireplace um lovely lovely vibes in this house i would i'd like to do a bit of gameplay in here i think i would like to do a bit of gameplay in this house i think it would i don't know just i, don't, I think it would be fun to play in for a family definitely very fun to playing as, as a family in the back of my head guys i am thinking about what it's called when people um reaposter thank you thank you thank you when people reupholster their furniture. <sighs> Why am I this way? I don't know, darlings. Absolutely don't know. Now, this fireplace, love it. Look at that big chunky shelf. Does anything fit on there? Does it fuck? There is absolutely hardly no snap points apart from one tile, little tiny things. 
Um, yeah, so I have to go and get the OMSP shelf from the lovely... E I always get their name wrong. Um, Ame Amobe? 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 Amazing creator. Absolutely love them. Um, absolutely hysterical as well on Twitter. You need to go and follow them. Um, adore them, you know? Thank you for that shelf and all that you do. Thank you. Anyway, here we are into the sunroom. The sunroom of dreams. Really wanted this place to have some gameplay aspects in it. So I put in the flower arranging table. I put in the flower arranging table and we utilized that old chest of drawers that were left in the house as well. By putting us on some more tree sheets. Tree sheets? Tree sheets. Tree seeds. And I just think it really works. I do. I think it really works. And I'm, I was just completely happy with the outcome. Completely happy. And I'm so glad that we kept that classic vibe in. Ignore under the windows as well. It's got that like um, beamed wallpaper at the minute. I go for brick in the end. Oh, there we go. I'm changing it now. I just think that looks a little bit better. I think it looks a little bit more solid. And I keep the um, beamed wallpaper on the other parts instead. And just litter this place with greenery. Lovely sunroom with some chairs as well. If you want to come and sit out here, have a summer drink or just entertain in this space. Then you can, darlings, because I did put a little globe bar by the, in the dining room, I think. <laughs> Excuse me, hiccups now. Um, I think I did, yes. I do believe I did. Yes, indeed. Very nice, indeed. And I end up putting a little beam across the middle here so we can get some industrial lighting in this edge because I was just like, oh, it's very nice, but I want to hit it with a little bit more industrial um, vibes that we've done throughout the rest of the house. So I put in those lights from the industrial pack and I just think it works. Now, I reckon they unearthed some original tiles in this entry hall. So you can remember there was a small toilet and stuff in here. I knocked all of that down, opened up the space, brightened it up um, and used that beautiful tile. I love that tile. That tile is from the Oasis, the Courtyard Oasis pack or kit pack. Oh God, there's so many packs now, isn't there? Um, and I just think it works really well in kind of like Victorian 1930s houses. Um, anything, but especially in those. So, yes. So this is the only toilet downstairs. I just did a toilet room. Like the rest upstairs. There's an ensuite upstairs and a big family bathroom as well. So three bathrooms in this house. Would have been nice if I could fit in another toilet downstairs. But I just didn't have the room. Didn't have the room. Now, um, this is the master suite. Ignore the placement of that... Um, side table here on the left because I put a door there because I end up making the main bathroom into a ensuite and I, I'm now there's three bedrooms there's three bedrooms I have no but I, I wait there one two three yeah no there is there's three bedrooms so I've put the kids in bunk beds and I've done a guest bedroom. They have a baby on the way. So maybe as the kids get older, they can alternate. And then maybe, I don't know, they can have an extension when they get older and have a, a fourth bedroom. So they can have a bedroom each. But the bedrooms are big, so they can easily fit into children. You know what I mean? So, yes. Anyway, love this bedroom. Mixing again. Bit of that classic vibe with the industrial edge that we're going for. Uh, and I just really like the way that it came out. I do. And I'm glad that I went with this palette rather than a colourful palette in this place. Um, but I do want to go for a colourful palette um, in one of my upcoming Design Me Devons. I really do. Next week, it's going to be a speed build. So there's no Design Me Devon next week. But we do have a nice speed build coming. Um, so be on the looks out for that next Friday, my dears. Yes. Now, this is the spare bedroom, the guest bedroom. They kind of like, I reckon it sounded like in the brief, they came from quite a big family. So when they've got family to come in to stay for holidays or anything, then they've got a nice little just classic bedroom to stay in and again utilizing the color color palette that i've gone through and um, the rest of the house and i did, did a build in wardrobe in this place as well just to kind of like save on space a little bit um but still hit it again with some classic furniture classic vibes coming in and then i wanted a little nod to the industrial so i used that industrial chair over in the corner as well but nice just nice um, that mirror was a little bit too high. I remember bringing that down a tad. A little bit too much at first off. But um, yeah, I think that's a little bit better. Do I put a rug in here? It looks like it needs a rug. Oh, here we go. What rug are we using? Nice. Where are we going to put that one? Nice. Just at the foot of the bed. When you sit down, put your knickers on in the morning. You've got your nice little warm toes on top of a rug, you know? And then some guest towels as well. 
Beautiful job. Beautiful. Are we putting in another plant there? Oh, we are. Nice little plant on the side. So, into the kids' bedroom. So, as I said, bunk beds. Um, Nice big wardrobe for them as well. So, we've got some nice clothes. And I fit in some desks. Did a, quite a grown-up-ish kid bedroom, really. Still, they could have got toys. I put a doll's house in here as well. Uh, laptop, all of that good stuff. But I just wanted to look a little bit more grown-up. So, I didn't want to go ahead and put, like bears and stuff everywhere just a little nod to them being kids um with the toy box and i did do a little print on the wall i think as well but um very nice very nice and i like the mixture of the black um the black kind of like um paneling on the wall to the brown on the floor i was in the beginning i was like oh i don't know if i like that but i i do i do now and that's all that matters get a little rug outside the bed there use that cardboard doll's house Who's got, who's ever had a cardboard doll's house? Well, saying that, I remember making one and Phoebe Buffet loved hers and friends, didn't she? Even though it did burn down, sadly. Um, I do love that episode of Friends. That was one of my favourites. One of my faves with Monica getting jealous because everyone was like in Phoebe's doll's house. Typical Monica. So this is me moving this and making it into an ensuite rather than the big family bathroom. We do end up doing a family bathroom, um, but yes. Um, actually using that shower as well. I think that shower was from the fitness pack. No, well, I don't know where that shower was from, actually. Maybe City Living. I don't know. But just pushing that shower in slightly into the wall with move objects, you can get rid of the like tiling so it looks like it's right up against the wall. And I kind of like that. I think we're coming up to the end. Yeah, we are. We've got 40 seconds left. So obviously this is the main family bathroom. Um, big bath. Didn't do a shower in this room. I just kept this as a bath. Um, could have fit a shower in here, but because of how I laid this out, I really liked the layout of it. It just didn't have the room for me to have a shower in. Um, but you could, you, you could like rejig it around if you want and put a shower in. It just wasn't for me. It wasn't for me. And yeah, kind of happy with how it looked towards the end anyway. Anyway, I'm going to say goodbye now. Thank you so much for watching my darlings. I will be back on Tuesday. As I said, no video this coming Monday. I'll be back on this Tuesday with some more Let's Build the Worlds. But um, yes, I'm going to say goodbye. Have a lovely weekend. I'll see you soon.